everyone, my name is Audrey. Welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a cold, but nothing will keep me from playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, we're going to continue the main quest today and let's get into it. So after dealing with the Band of Bastards, I sold all my stuff. Well, not all my stuff. I noticed that I got pretty good armor from Hagen Zul. Um, and I repaired everything. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you. And I have a few perks as well that I can take. But look. His helmet. Which is much better than what I have. And this, which is stronger than my brigandine. And um, I found golden spurs instead of silver spurs. And arm plates and leg plates. So the full kit, the full kit is better. And I think these leg plates are boots at the same time so there shouldn't be clipping anymore so look at that i'm gonna change my whole kit it looks it looks kind of badass the helmet am i gonna see anything ah i can see normally i can see normally okay interesting I don't know if he opens his helmet during cutscenes, but but now I have a brand new kit. It's pretty amazing. I love my brigandine. But we can graduate. It's fine. It's fine. And also, one of you in the comments mentioned I'm not wearing outer garment. I think um, it's because it was lowering my charisma. But I'm going to keep an eye out for an outer garment that fits. Ah, oh, but look. Look at his kit. Isn't it amazing? The colors are really nice. Okay, come on, Albi. Let's go. We're going to go see um, Sir Radzig. So the main quest, it's been a while. But... Because I've done a bunch of things <laughs> after Merhoyad, after saving the people of Merhoyad. But from what I remember, they had a captive. We saved him from this weird disease. And he gave us some information, and then we threw him in jail. As he should. Um, wait. Sir Radzig, Sir Radzig. But the captive had a letter on him. I think I still have it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> captive. See? And it says... Someone was recruiting bandits giving rise to widespread slaughter and unrest in the province. So someone is trying to create chaos from what I'm gathering for some reason. And they were behind the massacre at Neuhof, right? And we, we're not sure who this letter is addressed to. My dear T. I hereby give notice to you, honorable sir, that I do not intend to participate further in any enterprises with you or with your resources. So someone was trying to break free from this Mr. T. I urge you to proceed with greater restraint, for it has come to my attention that a certain German knight from Passau has been making inquiries in the region about the counterfeit Groschen. This night, I'm told, is presently staying at an inn in Sassau. There are too many pairs of eyes turning in our direction. So things are heating up. 
I hope and trust that you shall understand and respect my decision to terminate our collaboration. My, deep my deepest respects, S. Who could that be, S? Hmm. Have we met someone with a name starting with S? Stephanie? I don't think it's Lady Stephanie. Um, don't know, don't know, but we'll find more. We'll find out more, I guess. The story is so intriguing. I love a game with a good story. I, I don't really mind like bad graphics. Not that this game has bad graphics at all, but I'm just saying. I'd rather have a game with a few bugs and, you know, not the best graphics, but a good storyline, an intrigue, and twists and turns. A story that can surprise me, you know? Okay, Sir Radzig, let's talk. God be with you, lad. What can and I do for you? thank you. I love Sir Radzig. Let's talk about the events in Merhoyed. I've returned from Merhoyed. <laughs> we can't How see my face anymore. There? I brought them help from the monastery. <laughs> Brother Nicodemus and Yohanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Oh, Yohanka. At least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? I he did. He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you yeah. find out? He was transporting the false coins to Privis Lavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. Huh. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. God be with you. Okay. You want to talk to me? You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Oh. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Henry liked it. I can feel so, it. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian, but long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. Yeah, when that's solve, true. The better a man you become. Hmm. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look that's at the pampered ones things. with no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. <laughs> I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. <laughs> Tribulations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? Aww. You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. We all need a Sir Radzig in our lives. Wouldn't you agree? Come on. Great. I have Grushin. Ah. <laughs> well, when you have to go, you have to go. All that glisters. Okay. Am I hungry? Yes, so in Privy we found quite a pile of Groshen, but they were counterfeit. Counterfeit Groshen. And Master Engineer Feyfar discovered they were fakes, okay? So that's a capital crime. 
against the crown. Because we're messing up the king's silver, right? And um, there's proof that there's more going on around Ratai that meets the eye. Mm. So the captured bandit from Merhuyad told me the place where the fakes were passed by the counter counterfe counterfeiters. Wait. <laughs> by the counterfeiters is north of Rovna. The handover is due to take place any day now. Naturally, nobody from Privy will come there, so I may yet run into the criminals go between. Mm hmm. We're gonna intercept. Oh, we're gonna intercept. Um. Okay. Where is it? Map. We shall go. It's right there. Hmm. Okay. Should I sleep, though? We could go in the morning. Can I... Yeah, I could sleep. Is there a place I can sleep? It's not going to be very comfortable, but... Just a quick nap. You think you own the place snoring here? Clear off! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That was a nice chat with Sir Radzig. He's really taking me under his wing. I like it. Okay, so let's let's intercept. So there's kind of a path here. That leads into the woods. Hi, sir. Father Simon. Maybe we should go on foot. An attack. Good God, what bloody mess. Who's that? So this is locked. They attack the guards. They have nothing on them. Huh. I'll take his pants, but what's in there? I can't open it. It's too difficult. It looks okay. like that wagon was loaded with charcoal. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some oh. tracks. I see footsteps. I'm on the right track. Okay. I love these investigations. Ah, oh, charcoal. Did someone leave a trail on purpose? Wait. Blood. Blood. I don't see anyone. There's someone there, but... Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard. It looks like blood. I'll ask around. They must have seen something. Come on. Ah. Hi, sir. Good day to you. What do you need? Well? What happened here? 
What happened at the crossroads? What crossroads? What are you talking about? Sir, come on. I've come to help. I'm a friend of his. Who? <laughs> that fellow you brought here. I need to find him. I have to help him. I owe it to him, you see. I don't know nothing and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. And I understand. Who's Borya? Who is this Borya? Borya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. God be with you. And with you as well. Borya. So he's the charcoal burner in chief. Is he sleeping? Another clue. I must be going the right way. Where's Borea? What time is it? Where's Borea? Is he chopping wood somewhere? I see charcoal. I'm on the right track. Okay. Ah, I see someone with a red cap there. Hi, sir. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Well, thank you. Uh, there was an ambush. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Yes. Is that a problem? Yes, actually. It is a problem. I'm just trying to find information, sir. Do you have any idea who wagon it was? I don't know. And I don't care. Well, I'll tell you. I don't believe I'm you. I'm sure you've heard of the gang that burned down Neuhof. Possibly. <laughs> and poisoned the well in Merkel. He's so cautious. They're the kind of men you don't want to get on the wrong side of. Yeah. I didn't get on the wrong side of them, though. Did I? The opposite. Actually, we helped them out. And I didn't even know who they were. What happened? Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads? I believe then? you. We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged <laughs> us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Okay. And who ambushed the wagon then? You know who ambushed that wagon? Could be bandits. Could Not be... a clue. We came a long way after. Huh. What did he did say? Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to talk to Where him. Is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He, he paid us. Are they lying? We're not to let anyone I'm near him. I'm not sure. I don't mean to hurt him. So be it. Here. Take the key. They look nice, right. but you never know. May the Lord watch mm. over. Okay, where is key? So let's talk to the man. In here? Hi, sir. Who are you? He's a mercenary. Um... Talk and you live? I don't know who that man is, but he was going to accept counterfeit Russian. Right? So talk and you live. Do as I say, 
and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Just answer my <laughs> questions, and I might even help you. Well, if you say so. So, who are you working for? Who, who hired for? you? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. Oh, okay. And where is this so, Menhart's the guy. Off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. And, um... Who ambushed you? Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. Was that the knight in... I don't Passau know. or Sassau? I got a beating, and then I passed out. Okay, what were you carrying? I know what you were carrying in that wagon. <coughs> I never asked Menhart that. I believe him. It's possible he wouldn't know. I could help the guy. Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Hmm. I know my ra I know my way around first aid. Blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. What is staunch? Okay. And tell me more. Tell me more about the night. What? Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. Is that the knight? <gasps> Where are those sacks you took from the wagon? You I, will not. They're behind the shed. That's uh -oh. him. That's got to be that knight. Okay, I'll talk to him, right? Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh -uh. Oh. He's Fuck. a grandpa. Stop. Stop right there. <laughs> A mystery night. We're gonna fight? Huh? Huh? Wait. What happened? What am I supposed to do? Catch him? Where is he off to? Okay. Pip, I'll be... I'm gonna try and catch him. I'm gonna try and catch him. Damn. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as he goes back to I was the way too slow. I was way too slow. Lion, wait. Okay, we're gonna wait for him at Sasso. What is going on? Why would a knight from Germany be after the coin? Hey, boys. Good day. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's there. He's there. Uh, hello, Ulrich. Hell, well met. I'm happy to see you again, sir. Yeah. Likewise. Does no it recognize me? Many questions. I okay. certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. Is it an ambush? I'm not I'm not scared. I'll be there. I'll be there. I will expect you. He's so mysterious. Who are you? Got it for you right here. Okay. Let's go to the meeting place. It could be a trap. And if it is, I'll fight my way through, okay? But I have to know more. 
Come on, I'll be. Something is going on. Yeah. Why would a knight from Germany know about the coin, first of all? And try to intercept. What are what is he doing? Who hired him? Wait, 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 wait. I'll go on foot because did I Oh Yeah. Okay. You wait here, I'll be. Okay. Could be dangerous, could be a trap. Well, I'm here. Okay, I have to meet him after sunset. So let's wait. Well, hello, sir. Let's talk. So here I am. What do you have to tell me? I brought you here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I am very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. So it was an ambush, of course. Well, sir, wait a second. Wait. You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But be quick. Well, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell him it's for Sir Radzig because I don't know the guy. And I don't want to put Sir Radzig in trouble. So, listen, I just want to have more information, okay? I'm here to investigate. I just want to know why you ambushed that wagon. You yeah. make no sense. Do your accomplices not tell you when they send you after me? Accomplices? What are you talking about? I'm here on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobila. Radzig Kobila? Okay. I do not understand. I was looking for the counterfeit coins, and I still am. I'd heard those men were transporting them in that wagon. When I saw you with the charcoal burners, I assumed it was they who sent you. No, definitely not. Then we have a common aim. I have all. I mean, we don't know that for sure. Just for some time. My name is. Ulrich. But why? It is true our meeting has not begun well, but if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila. Then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are he still questions He seems nice, I but... Answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. Who is he talking about? What man was that? Mainhart, the merchant from Passa. Ah, uh, he Listen, died? I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? <laughs> You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. Says who? What are you? Who do you mean? What do you mean? Master Tobias Faith. I don't know the guy. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. Why I does he want to meet? What do you want him for? Master Faithar. I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such... Technical matters. Master Faefer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense Yeah, of it. but and you'll why? Give it to me. Just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Why does he want to know how these forgeries were made? If he's from Germany, what is that going to accomplish? I mean, we don't know for sure how the information is going to be used. Sir, What's who your are name, you? Anyway? I told you, I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich? Yes, but <laughs> this is, is just your first name. Who are you? Because you look like a knight. Yeah. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword, and a shield. Sir. But there are <laughs> many ways to acquire such things these days. 
as I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? <laughs> I'm a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you He doesn't want to, to tell us any information. All right. All right, then. All right. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Who are you working for? <laughs> I don't think he's going to tell us. Who are you us, working but... for? I understand why you wish to know. But this does not mean I am at liberty. He's being very you. secretive. It sounds fishy. That sounds a bit Sir. fishy. It is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if yes, we there are, are a lot of that one another, around these parts. That is how it must remain. We don't know if he has good intentions or not, right? Who are you working for? I understand. Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. I shan't and I won't. Forged money. Tell me what you know about what the do you know? coins. Do Come you know on. Paso? Mm, not really. No? What is it? A city in Bavaria. Paso is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began huh. to investigate and learned that the family of money changers was involved. That's an expensive way of doing counterfeit, the no? Coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the Paso Alderman, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. Okay. Seems legit. Well, what do you know about the and ambush? What, about that wagon? what happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Paso. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sasso. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, foreigns, francs and the like. All but sorts now, of coins. The eggs were full of counterfeits. Ah. Okay, that's weird. What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the what? monastery itself? I cannot say. Can I know you imagine if those Passau monks are making counterfeit money? Interrogations. And why did you jump them why here? Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an So far, escort, his story makes sense. And they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek. I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. Okay. And, um, what happened on that Tell track? me more. I ambushed them. I took he them ambushed too, them. But that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? Ah. While I was chasing Manhard, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get any. So he just died him. like that. Unfortunately not. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Hmm. Do you know anything else? What happened to Manhart? I think I've asked everything, but... He's dead, of course. I know, but what did he do with his body? I buried it. He was a bastard. But I am not one to leave Christian remains. He buried him. We'll see. Okay. And where's his grave? He ran from the... Henry is so thorough. ...to the north. Along the way, there is an old ruined cabin. I buried him behind it. And don't think I don't know why you ask. Robbing graves is shameful. Of course. I would never. I would never in my life think about doing such a thing. That's not how it That's is. Not it at all. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> exactly. I am a man of honor. Which is true. Won't you come with me? Why do you want to stay in the shadows? Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. He could have a girlfriend. We don't know. 
Okay, I'm gonna head off to see Feyfar. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoner's Inn. Okay. Mint Master. What does that mean? Two officials in the medieval mint, whose job is, whose job it was to oversee the quality of minted coins. Ah, and punish counter. How do you say this word? I'm gonna have to learn it. Okay. How do you say? Listen, I know you guys mentioned my accent, and I never thought I had an accent until I I started editing my videos, and then I was like, hmm. You can kind of hear English is not my first language. It's French, if you were wondering. I know some of you were asking. It's French. It's some French that you're hearing in there. Um, okay. How do you say this word? Please, Google Translate, come on. Counterfeiter. Counterfeiter, right? Okay. So, Mint Masters were punishing counterfeiters. One of them was appointed by the king, and the role was hered hereditary? The second official was elected by the Bohemian nobility. Wow! That's so cool. I didn't know that. Okay. See? You learn a bunch of things while playing this game. Sir, you forgot your horse, but it's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go sleep and in the morning we'll see about this Master Feyfar. I'm gonna go sleep at the inn. You're still there? It's kind of late. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my perk points because I have a few. We're gonna check them out, and in the morning, I'll meet this master Faithfar. and we're gonna get to the bottom of this this counterfeit Grushin. Okay, so I have a few perks. So I'm level sixteen. I have one perk point in main level what should i take maybe first aid three bandages are 50 percent more effective and it opens up advanced options and dialogues which i really enjoy so i'll take this one okay and we have perk in speech as well maybe silver tongue yeah Increases my speech skill when haggling, which I enjoy. I enjoy good haggle, you know. Warfare. The more damaged your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning. Ah. When outnumbered, you have a 20% greater strength, agility, warfare, and defense. That's pretty awesome. Or chain strike. Each blow in an in in an un in, I cannot speak. Each blow in an uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than a previous one. Any interruption will cancel this bonus. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe rusty edge. The greater chance of poisoning your opponent. I do enjoy poisoning my blade. I'll take this one. Houndmaster, we have two points now. I still don't have Seek, though. I mean, I could take one point. Your dog has a greater chance of causing a foe to bleed. Tooth and claw, we'll take it. Okay. I have another point, but I want to keep it for Seek. The other ones are fine. Let's sleep.
I'm not gonna wear my helmet. Because I think we're gonna do... There's gonna be some dialogues. And I want to see my beautiful face. Hi, Mutt. Good morning. Are you hungry? Look what I've got for you. I have food for you. I love this. I have your favorite. Nothing. <laughs> I'll buy you food. Oh, I read in the comments. Someone suggested I could put food on my horse so it doesn't spoil which i didn't even think about so that's a that's a great tip nourishment yes i can't eat are you the innkeeper no you are the fresco master you paint i can't speak with you God grants you health. How may I help you? Well, I am hungry. I need mutton. I mean, not that much. It's for mutt. For me, I'll have um, a bread. Or two or three. And that is all. Maybe a little horseradish to eat some vegetables. And there you go. Right. And thank you. Okay, my food, food. Look what I've got. You love. You love this. It's mutton, a pork chop of a mutton. There you go. And let's meet this Master Feifar. Yeah. God save you. Oh, Damn. I'm sorry about that, Pikmin. He's at the castle. Try and find him. Um, dirtiness washed. You're a guard, Master Feifar. Where could he be? Can you imagine if he was there? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Master Feifar. Can I come in? Oh, look at the gorgeousness of these frescoes. Okay. I shouldn't be in here. Hi, Sir Radzig. I'm just looking for Master Faithar. Where could he be? Oh, maybe here. Hello, Yannick. Um, no, no, no. Well, hello, dear sir. Charisma, 17. Not bad. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Well, you won't believe. I'm here at Sir Radzik's command. Master Feyfar. Nonetheless. Sir Radzik sent me to you. Did he? He must think highly of you. I do the best I can. Oh. That's good. Because this is damned important. Silver's our most valuable asset. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? Hm. Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts, and no one is guarding the Skullit's mines, the most likely source. 
You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See okay, we're going to go on site. And if anything looks suspicious. Okay, where is it? Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. And the waterworks? What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. Okay. And the mine? You said mine gallery. gallery. Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take oh. a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Okay. Do you think someone will be Should there? Should be expecting trouble then? Well, I definitely Maybe. wouldn't take a job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing <laughs> an attack of hungry dogs trailing the army. Or a band of brigands. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. I've heard some talk. Well, I'd say there's real grounds for your forebodings. I heard from one Scalitz miner that someone may have found something there and didn't report it. I knew it. That bastard Namoy and his cronies. Christ above. I want a lot of them clapped he knows in irons. Him? The lot of them? How many are there? A dozen? Two dozen? How am I to arrest them all? Yes, yes. You're quite right. It'll be enough to take Nemoy. He's a serpent leading the others on the path of evil. So okay. I should look in the mine, and if anyone's there and I find Nemoy, I should bring him to you in irons. Exactly. But proceed with caution. That's going to be so dangerous. The punishment for stealing silver is burning at the stake. Those people will be capable of anything, of course. Exactly. Even murder. That's all clear. I'll get going. See you later. Okay. Was that all? What about the Vic Russian? Master Feyfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Okay, me, so he doesn't what know. What did he say? His name is Ulrich. His name is Ulrich. He looked like Ulrich. a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you Or say. to tell us his full name. Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? So common an name. man with a moustache. But a for mustache. all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. Yeah. And I asked him who his liege was, but he wouldn't answer. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzig. That may well be. Ah, As a staunch maybe. supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. I would know about it, wearing Hagen Zul's armor. Uh, he told me where the forged Grushin come he from. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. What I don't understand is why he would want to know how these counterfeit were made. Isn't that suspicious? He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, uh -huh. interrogation held this mm. day, uh -huh. put to pain by the quester. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which sadly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. 
coin assay Monastery report. Monastery Sasao? Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. It doesn't mean Here's that the monks are doing it, but... description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? Huh. I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz. Whoa, he recognises the, the hand? Can you imagine? So few people would know how to write that you would recognize the handwriting of some guy in Passau. Okay, the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. Huh? Okay. What does that mean? So what does all this this is mean? complicated. I mean, it's complex. Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. Okay. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. Yes, That's a this we, we know. Can follow. Amalgam. Okay. What? Silver amalgam. It's amalgam? produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look okay. around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Okay, we'll meet there. Goodbye. And goodbye to you. I... I mean... I don't understand all the ramifications. But... We'll get to the bottom of this, dear sir. You can go, you can go. Okay, so now I have this quest, all that glisters. I have to find out who in Zaza works with copper. I have to find out where the counterfeiters, counter, counterfeiters get the quicksilver. And speak with Ul Ulrich. But I also have this quest, the King's Silver. I really hope these quests are not time sensitive. Because I don't know what to do first. So where is this one? In Scalitz. So we have to investigate a weird mine. Not a weird mine, but a mine in Scalitz. Because someone is stealing from the king. This could be very bad. So there's this quest. And also, we could go in Sasau. I think we're going to do this one first, the main quest. Let's go back to that night and confirm or... Yeah, confirm the situation with him. I think he's very suspicious. Well, very suspicious. He's kind of suspicious. Because he's not telling us anything about who he's working for, who hired him, his motivations. We could be in the middle of a dangerous plot. Dear sir, good day and good day. But we'll go to Sasau and find more information. Henry, what time is it? I'm glad you came. Well, hello. Yeah. I'm back in Sasau. Yeah. And I have to figure out who works with copper. I'm going to start by speaking with this mysterious knight um, yeah. at the inn. Because it's a whole area. It just says, find who works with copper. How are you, Henry? Okay. 
So the knight is still there. Hello, sir. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him, and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master I don't Pfeiffer think I should. Out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins, and quicksilver for the alma... alma uh, uh, the other part? I see. <laughs> they have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. Ah? Uh -huh. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. So the blacksmith Have you works at else? night. You said they Sorry, use quicksilver. No there is a painter kind of suspicious. who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Ah, oh, so someone stole well. quicksilver. Thanks. Okay. Ah, oh, I have to talk to the master fresco. Painter. I saw him. Somewhere. Ah, you're right there. Well, hello, dear sir. I'm at your service, sir knight. Quicksilver. I hear you've had some problems Let's with go the straight to the point. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month, they've told me they've none. There's no quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. The overseer. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently, he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. <laughs> okay. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray hmm. somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. So he's suspicious as well. And what do you need Quicksilver for? I didn't know there was Quicksilver in paint. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. Ah. I'm painting the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. <laughs> then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. Okay. Well, thank you, dear sir. I shall be That's on my all way. That's I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? Why? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay is getting expensive. What do you have for sale? Why not? Show me what you have to <laughs> offer. <laughs> Maybe a book. Ah, oh, yay, a book and a treasure map. Do I have this one? Ancient map. It's not the same thing. Treasure map. I don't have the one he has. Ah, I'll take it. And Tavern Life as well. A fine book on alcoholism. I'll take it. There you go. Let's haggle. I'd like okay. to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Just a bit, sir. I know you need money, but I need it too. Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Come on, don't be such a pinch purse. Finally, a reasonable sum. There you have it. Okay. And thank you for for that. Am I hungry? No. Nope. So now I'm going to continue the investigation in the monastery. And I have never went to the monastery. I've never... I never went inside. Let's see what this overseer has to say. These monks... Well, I don't know if it's the monks. But something shady is going on. Okay. 
in here? Hello? Overseer. Are you his assistant? Overseer's hand. Let's start there. No. No. Let's start with you. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Well, you might. Quicksilver. I'm looking for some Quicksilver. Would you have any on hand? Talk to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. Fine. Thank okay. You. Sure. May the Lord watch over you. You're so busy, right? So busy. And hello, dear sir. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. Do you have any Quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Me. Well, that painter... I'm here on behalf of the master fresco painter. He said you sent him away empty-handed three times already. Then I don't have any. That sounds huh? almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. And why is that? Why is that? Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. Yeah. It's not. I'm not. Oh, shit. Get to the point. <laughs> uh, they came for me at noon. Who? Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Huh? Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He Another called himself Sir night? Gezek, And he had a lackey with him called Rapporta. Uh -huh. Scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling he was. They so told me random they wanted night? all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then okay. what? Did they threaten Good. me? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. And where are they coming from? Do we know? Uh, okay. He doesn't know them. How do you get the quicksilver to them? How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Hmm. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. We could plan a little ambush. Why? What did they threaten you with? What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing. I mean, before then. You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name. Everything. Hmm, okay. Well, thank you. Very well. Thank you. God be with you. It's very fishy. It's very mysterious. And thank you for that. Can I come in here? What is this? Huh? Huh? I'm not trespassing, am I? Hello, hello. I've never been here. Well, there's nothing really to see. Okay. I still have to find out who in Zaza works with copper. I'm gonna check out the place where the materials are handed over. Right here. Okay. And thank you again. I'll come back. I'm sure of it. Ow. Uh, this way, I think. Who are you? Ah, oh, the overseer. You look so busy, sir. Best not to bother him. So. He said up the yeah. hill. So what's there? And 
they said there was a blacksmith working at night, so I wonder who. I I hope not Mikesh. I like Mikesh. He better not be working for the enemy. Ah. There's a camp here. I'm gonna save because we never know. Right? Right? Yeah. You look like bandits. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. Maybe not. Maybe Hunter? Who are you? Why are they not attacking? Huh? Why exactly? Why are you just sitting around? Why are you just sitting around? Why not? Admiring the view. People just do not appreciate what? a lovely view these days. <laughs> Excuse me? Should we ask around about Rapoda? Do you know someone called Rapoda? Does the name Rapata ring any bells for Rapata? You? Rapota, you say. Rapota. Sir. Hmm. No, I can't hear any bells ringing at all. Why would he help us? Sir! I'm investigating a crime against the king. So... Look, you little jester. I'm investigating a crime against the king on the direct orders of Sir Radzig. Are you really going to keep pretending you don't know anything? Hang on! What's all <laughs> this about a crime against the king? I'm just it's keeping bad. an eye on things. When a wagon mm -hmm. comes in, I make sure nobody robs it. I get a commission for that. He's That's a good it. bandit. See? That didn't right. Hurt a bit. <laughs> and um where is he? Where's Rapata? I don't know. He's been staying in town lately. He hardly ever shows up here. It seems he's keeping an eye on someone there. I don't know who. And who comes here? Who comes to fetch them? I don't know. Some people. He doesn't they know. He doesn't know anything. What do you mean? Take the goods and go. Sure. Move along, citizen. Bit of friendly advice. You're wasting your time here. Rapid is scarped and won't be coming back this way anytime soon. You might as well pack up and go home. What? Yeah. That bastard owes me a dozen groshe. Damn it! <laughs> now what? Ah, oh, well. No use hanging around here anyway. In any case, thanks for the information. I could have been stuck here for weeks. Happy to help a bandit. <laughs> You tell him mutt. Can I eat your soup? I'm not hungry. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, Master Fafar is there. He's traveling all around. Okay. I'll go see him. Yeah. Where is he? At the inn? No. Ah, oh, maybe at the at the church. No. At the bailiff? The bailiff's house? Ah! I didn't know you worked here. Oh no, that's not you. Hi, sir. Ah, uh, I didn't recognize you without your hat, sir. No offense. God bless you. What troubles you? It is me, Henry. You don't recognize me? It's because I have a helmet. Counterfeiters. You look different, master. <laughs> so I to fit in. I don't want to know that I'm in town. <laughs> Why not? Why? I don't want to alarm our prey. Gossip spreads quickly, and if those scoundrels learn we're onto He's them, they'll He's being cautious. Flee. That's good. Well, that does make sense. So, what have you found out so far? Um. Well, I know where they get their quicksilver. I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right. It was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical and someone has been bribed. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. 
Have you been there to have a look around? I did. I have, but I didn't find anything interesting. And have you found out who's behind it? Someone called Rapata. Not much, but it's a start. Should I have not looked a common name. around Listen, the camp? I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. A punch die? There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard. Master engraver Jerome of Silesia. Is that like a stamp for he's... metal? No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think okay. of something. Tact is my middle all... name, so we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. See you later. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. The engraving workshop. Where is it? Is it in Sasso? It is. Huh. Onions that'll even make your mouth play like a little laugh. I'll be. Enjoy some. Make Come here, Albi. Hey, Fritz. Um. It should be in there. That shot. I mean, it's getting late, so it could be closed. It could be closed. Maybe we can look around. It's here. Um, excuse me. I need to come in. Hello? No one's here. Okay. Maybe upstairs? Ah, yes. I've been here before. Well, hello, Master Jerome. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? How's the work going, Master? How's the work, Master? Getting there, getting there. Mm. You need something, my boy? Well, do you work here alone? You've got quite a large workshop, Master. You don't do all the work alone, surely. I'm usually here with my apprentice, Florian. So we can't raise suspicion. Of course, by simple observation, you'll note that Florian? this is not currently the case, and I'm here alone. Which means that either I'm a liar or something out of the ordinary has occurred. Um, <laughs> I see. Okay. Sure. I think. So what's happened to Florian? He shares the fate of the pharaohs for today. Huh? The fifth scourge of Egypt did smite him. The plague. What is that? Oh, so the plague? Advised me. He's sick? Jesus Christ. The plague? Do remain calm. I'm quite certain the plague from which Florian is suffering wasn't a judgment from on high. Or if it was, it was a judgment on excessive drinking. He's hangover. I'm told He's hungover. a failure okay. can be of truly biblical proportions. Those are fancy words, dear sir, to tell me your apprentice is hungover. Who is this Florian, dear sir? What's he like, your apprentice, Florian? I am afraid that his exuberant youth has taken its toll. He's been acting strangely of late. I fear he has delusions of persecution. I don't so really he looks know what you stressed mean at all. Recently, right? for example, he told me that someone was following him. Or and paranoid. The very next day, he bought a padlock from the blacksmith and locked up his uh? chest. As though I would ever sneak into it. In any case, why the interest? Are you looking for him? Something like oh, that. no, no. Oh, May I ask well, why? Suspicious, suspicious. We are 
I have a message for him. I have a message for him. A message? Who would be interested in that maestral? Other than his furious and deeply disappointed master, of course. About your question, you'll find him at home. No doubt feverishly I think I succeeded, dying. not raising suspicion, right? He sleeps in right? the baker's cellar. Ah, thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. I... And what are you working what on? What are you doing here, anyway? You're in an engraver's shop, my boy. We're engraving. Of, of course. course. Yeah, of course. Engraving what? And what's it used for? Oh, we engrave wood and stone as well as metal. Here in the monastery, it's mostly about decoration. Okay. I'm not going to ask if Florian has any enemies because I don't want to raise suspicion. So I'll, I'll be going, right? I don't want to ask him, though. Hmm. I mean, we have the information we need. I don't want him to be suspicious, but I want to know if he has enemies. Does Florian have any enemies? A man such as he certainly owes money at every turn, and the okay. parents of local girls are undoubtedly displeased with his attempts to propagate. However, <laughs> most recently it was that fury from the baths who accosted him in quite a spectacular rage. Huh? A woman at the bathhouse? A woman from the baths? What did she do? The harpy nearly tore all Florian's hair out. I don't frequently feel sorry for my ne'er-do-well apprentice, but on that occasion I made an exception. Do you have any idea why she did it? Why? She was screaming about some girl, some flighty bathmaid, Esther. I would say that Florian had felt the joys of spring and acted accordingly. Although one would have thought they'd be used to that sort of thing at the bathhouse. I've never heard that expression before. Okay, I'll be going. Thank you, Thank you for you everything. Work. Take care. And you as well. Stay safe. I'm not going to rob him. I just want to practice my luck picking. So the bathhouse lady was Talk to the Madame of the Baths. Okay. Let's go see Bath Mama. Yeah. Why was she mad? What did he do? Well, hello. God's blessings. And to you as well. I heard about Florian for some I reason. Hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. Poor girl. They? I shudder to think what's become of her. What happened? What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams. So I run out and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. He kidnapped her. Okay, what did the bailiff what do? What did the bailiff make of it? Don't even get me started on that. He's another fine... I won't say Really? That. I told him everything, but he says he won't do nothing about it. How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. Poor girl. Hmm. What can you tell me about Esther? It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She oh, came she was like a daughter to her. Like a warm <gasps> child she was. Really? I raised her and taught her and gave her a job. And now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Okay, I'm I'm very sorry to hear that, ma'am. I but I don't understand what this has to do with Florian. Did he love her? I'm sorry or they something? took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? 
They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he wises up, he'll get the girl back. Huh? So to get back at Florian, they took Esther? I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some oh. young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck oh. with the turnip heads. Okay, so where can I find where him? Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the monastery craftsman's yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is in the cellar he rents from the baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. Really? Okay. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm just going to use... Your, uh, uh huh. Proper bath. Your services. Just and my for need washing. I'm sure you'll be minutes. extremely satisfied. God be with you. Goodbye. And goodbye to you as well. And thank you for everything. And come on, mate. So what have we learned? Nothing yet about the copper. Let's talk to Florian. Yeah. So he's in trouble. Maybe he was the one engraving the counterfeit money for whoever's behind this. Am I going to trespass? Hello? Um... Ma'am? God bless. What can I help you with? I know it's late. I'm just looking for Florian. Take care. And you as well. Where is the guy? Aha! Uh -huh. You? No, you're a guard. Well... Is he... Ah! Sweet pancakes. So they said he was sleeping at the baker's shop. But it might be too late for that. Are you... Okay, you're the baker. Ah, Florian. God's blessings. What can I do for you? Well, you don't look sick. You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's <laughs> Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. And what do you want from me? Straight to the well, point then. Alright. I've been investigating counterfeit money, and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rapporteur mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe? Don't bother. I know you know him. You make the punch dies for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Do you know where their workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, He's just scared. accusations. Is it because of that girl? It's got something to do with that girl, hasn't it? How do you know? That doesn't well, matter. No, I just I know. I suppose not. I didn't want to get involved, I swear. Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Me too. Listen, I'll I tell believe you him. everything. I promise. I think he's but just caught in a bad situation. What, so I'm to go searching for her in the woods? I know where they're keeping her, but nobody will help me. And what can puny little me do face with those strapping great villains? I can help. If they take to their heels, you'll never see Esther Look, again, though. So we have to hurry. Through, honestly. But I'm not the only one who's after these people. 
As soon as they get wind of something, they'll be out of here and Esther will be gone with them. If Rapporteur finds I've told you anything, they'll kill her. Not if I catch Rapporteur first. He's here in town, yeah. isn't he? Yes, he is. They found me in the tavern one evening, caught me when I went to the shit pile. They started to badger me about working for them. They? Yes, Rapporteur. And so Rapporteur is working with that night. And then what? Huh. Is he a real knight? They explained what they wanted from me, and I told them to sod off. I'm guessing that didn't go down too well. It wasn't all that bad. They just threw me on the dung heap and left. I thought it was just a drunkard's joke. But then they took Esther. So where is where he? Where would I find Rapporteur? He's usually wherever I am. What does that mean? He watches me. Everywhere I go. And when I'm at home, he sits on the bench in the square, watching my house. He stalks so he's there him? Now. Hard to say. Sometimes I see him in the tavern on the green, buying supplies. All right. At least okay. I know where to start. And you go to work tomorrow, you hear? Why? Why? Because we have to lure him out. <laughs> and besides, your master will surely be glad to see you. I have my doubts. And uh, that punch die handed over. How did you hand over the punch die to them? Oh. Rapporteur waited for me behind the church. I didn't want to give it to them without seeing Esther first. And did they let you? Yes. Although I don't really know why. They took me to a derelict farm in the Scalitz Hills. Oh, my poor Esther. They'd scared her half to death. So at least you know she's alive. Hmm. Who knows? But she's in danger. It was a while ago. Oof. And they never let her go. Even after I did what they wanted, okay. they said they'd be needing more. More punch dice? They wear out over time. They have to be replaced regularly. Couldn't you have said anything? Why didn't you tell anyone? At first, I took it for a bad joke. And then, when they snatched Esther, there was nothing to be done. Okay. I'll get him. I I'd better go. I'll get him. I'd hate the bastard to get away. Go. I hope you get revenge. Take care. Rapata. So, where is the guy? We don't know. He talked about a tavern. I... I kind of want to go see Mikesh. And ask him if he knows anyone who would work with silver. Because Mikesh is one of the blacksmiths in Sasau, So, I don't know. Maybe he knows something. Yeah. I want to follow my hunch. I'm not always right, of course. But I just want to see if he knows anything. Mikesh. I like him. You better not be caught in some funny business, Mikesh. I'm glad to see you. And me as well. Listen, tell me about the blacksmiths in Sasau. Can you tell okay. me about the Sasau blacksmiths? <laughs> There's too many of us. I'll tell you that for free. Mm. This is only a small town. There's Zack, who has the forge in the craftsman's yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And okay. then, apart from me. There's Master Armorer Otter of Rabstein. It's a fancy name. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. You had a fight with Zack? Why are they at what odds? Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armor in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armorer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing so ever since. So he didn't since. want to well, sell. Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots. Zack is not very friendly. Okay, and Zack, what do you know about, about him? Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, 
No question. Who he's good. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a master armor in Prague. But he has day. an ego. My father was a black. Got man, it. And I expect he thought much the same about me. Mm. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. Okay. But that didn't really tell us much about the copper, all. though. Thank you. Well, do you work with do copper? Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zack from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. Really? God be with you. Suspicious? And thank you, Mikesh. Master Oda. I'm not sure where Master Oda is. Master Ota. So there's a weaponsmith here. This is Zack. Right there. Is there another blacksmith here? I'm not sure. Where is Master Oda? Have I ever met him? His name sounds familiar. Is he the armorer? Maybe. Let's check. I mean, Florian told me to hurry before Rapota, Rapata gets away. But I have to check. Could he be here? Master Ota. Could he be the armorer? Ah, yes. There you are. Hi, sir. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? Well, what can you tell me about the Sasau blacksmiths? What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sasau? Depends which ones you mean. In the town, there's Mikesh. Everybody He's loves Mikesh. Mikesh is great. And in the yard, He's on the monastery, there's Zack. But there's not many good words I can say about him. Zack is not as nice. He's... Well, he's more rough around the edges. Uh, Tell Mikesh? Me about Mikesh? Like I said, he's an honest craftsman. Which isn't something you can say about every blacksmith in town. So you hate Zack. Got what about it. about the monastery blacksmith, Zack? Well, him and me don't exactly see eye to eye. He wanted to buy my business, but I turned him down. Ever since then, he hasn't had a good word to say about me. Okay. That will be all. Thank you. I'll pay him a visit. And do you work yourself with copper? Do you make anything out of copper, Master? I do a bit of Damascene decor sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheets. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zach from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. So everybody knows he bought all the copper. copper. He had around here anyway. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I'll be on my way. Let's go see the Zach. Um. Powder made of the bones of Saint Thomas. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't want Rapata to get away. I don't know if he can, but I'm just going to hurry, talk to Zach quickly, and then try to find this rat attack. I mean Rapata. And with you as well, Fritz. I think Zack is this guy right here. He's not especially friendly. Zack. Hi, sir. God say, what can I do for you? Well, I am inquiring about the other blacksmiths. What can you tell me about the Sasal blacksmiths? For well, some reason. Mikesh. He's honest enough. 
Everybody uh, loves my cats. Everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old and too proud to admit it. Okay. So you're bad mouthing Master Ota. Got it. And um by any chance do you work with copper? Everybody says so. Do you so. work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why'd you ask? I mean, uh well I can't say, really. I don't want him to be suspicious. I'm making some inquiries. Is he going to turn me down? I want to have something made in copper. Full copper plate. I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you best go elsewhere. I never use copper. So why did you buy everything? That's not what I heard. That's not what I heard. What? Yeah. I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmiths copper. I'm yeah. being made a fool of yet again, it seems. I don't think Anything so. Anything else? I still have work to do. Excuse me? About that so copper. Back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what now? God be with you. So he says he doesn't work with copper. What about you, Vitis? Do you know anything? I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Oh, you will. Copper. Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's bought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling yeah. me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. Boy. Are you really trying to threaten me? Have you looked at yourself, Vitis? Um, I've... Listen, I've been sent here by Sir Radzikabala. First of You're all... Right. It's nothing to me either way. Right, so clear off. Excuse I mean, me? I the fact I'm here on behalf of the Royal Burgrave Sir Radzikabala yeah. investigating a grievous crime against the Crown. What? What are you talking about? I'd let what you do you think I'm talking about? But I doubt you're educated enough to understand it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did I mean, true in a sense. If I'd known, of course I wouldn't. I mean, you understand, don't you? Stop prattling for God's sake and start telling me the truth. What's the story with the copper at your forge? You're right. We do make copper sheets here at night. And why the secrecy? And why all the secrecy about it? Father forbade me to talk about it. I don't know why. I didn't ask. You don't know anything. Who are you making Who them buys for? Those sheets from hmm? You I must don't have seen know. something. I've never set eyes on him. Father doesn't like to talk about it. Well, you will. Your father is in big, big trouble. Your father has some Boy. explaining to do. I'm so sorry. If I'd known who you were, I'd never have taken such liberties. <laughs> Don't think you're in the clear. He hasn't told us anything. Don't think you're out of the woods yet. Jesus Christ. See you later. But that, I mean, I didn't even make progress with my quest yet, sir. About that copper. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Your son has made a little confession. Your son put it quite differently. What's that? What are you blabbering on about? Don't be, be very careful. I didn't give him any choice. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copper sheets here, and I wanted to keep it quiet. Why? But why is that? Pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. So they're going around intimidating everyone is someone threatening Did you? They threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. I'll show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. Hmm. I mean, couldn't even... Couldn't he have told anybody 
before doing that? You shouldn't be working for criminals. If you lie down with dogs, you shouldn't complain about the fleas. There's no need for threats. <laughs> we can both benefit here. If I tell you everything I know, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. Yeah, money's the last thing you're going to need on the pyre. But how dare you, at the same time? You've got cheek. Not only are you in with the counterfeiter gang, it's really but bad you what he's to me doing. On top of it. You should be on your knees begging for mercy right now. I'm not trying to make a profit. I didn't know what they were doing. But now you do know, and you've still got the cheek to try to strike a deal with me. So Rad's are definitely going to be hearing about this. Mm -hmm. You're right. I I'm sorry, I overstepped the mark. I certainly didn't mean to offend one of Lord Radzik's men. One evening, I got a visit from this scruffy beggar calling himself Rapota. He had a yellow cape on and kept whistling to himself. There was a knight with him too, but he didn't give his name. They told me what I had to do, how much I'd get for it, and I had to keep my mouth shut. Hmm. And where can I find this Rapota? Or the knight? I don't know exactly. But I've always left the wagon with the goods behind the monastery, on the hill there, next to a small chapel under a big tree. Anything else? Huh? No. I swear that's all I know. Well, that'll do me for now. <clears throat> Young man, about that matter I need help with. I'll gladly pay you. Well, what's going on? First, tell me what's going on. I recently tried to buy Master Armorer Otto Rabstein's I'm not going to help him do that. Son Vitus, but that old fool wouldn't listen to reason. He said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitus. Despite the insult, I doubled my offer. But Master Otter still wouldn't budge. And what is it you need from me? I thought I'd show Otter that Vitus isn't such a dolt as he thinks. But for that, I need someone experienced in combat. Why is that? I'm not going to beat up the man. What is he asking me? Sir? What are you asking me, first of well, all? Well, that doesn't sound so bad. What do you have in mind? Bad. And hurry up, I, I have to catch a, very pretty a bad man. The bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that pretty armor of his is absolutely useless, he'd be disgraced. And how am I supposed to see to that? Well, I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. <laughs> you put on Vitus's armor, and Otto will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch. And Otto will be made a laughing stock in front of everyone. And what do I get out of it? Vitus will let you have the cuirass from his suit of armor, and I'll throw in a few groschen on top. Sounds good. And I'm sure we'll a fellow that. like you will be glad to be on good terms with the best armorer for miles around, eh? That remains to be seen. I can agree. I can say, will your plan work? Do you really think that will work? Otto's always mouthing off in the alehouse that my young lad You're is mouthing off too? Once I show he's just a bitter old bastard spouting hot air, his business will be ruined. It's a battle and of the egos. The what with all the strife in the country these days, there'll be no end of work for a good armorer. And what if I lose? What if I lose? Nonsense. I won't. How could you? Light as his armor is light as an eggshell and hard as a rock. I mean, it's enticing. Supposing the armor went missing? What does that mean? How about if the armor for the bailiff uh, mysteriously went missing? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Don't even talk about it. Although... Oh, it's too much for you? If doesn't agree to the duel, it might be the only option. Exactly. And if you want to wreck Otter's reputation, not keeping his promise to the bailiff could be even worse for him than your idea. You're right. Do whatever you think fit, then. But if the armor gets uh, lost, don't come to me afterwards. Stolen. I, I mean, lost. Right. Sure. Of course. Okay. Um. Goodbye. We'll do that later. We'll do that later. For now. What does my quest say? Find Rapata. Okay. I'm gonna save. It's been a while. 
Let's find this rabbita. Florian said he was near the inn or something. The tavern. Yeah. Rapita. Um. And with you as well, Fritz. You have a great day, okay? I don't see anybody here. Florian said the guy was stalking him. Have you seen Rapita? I'm looking for a shady man. What was that? Sir? No. Has anyone seen a Rapita around these parts? I need to have a few words. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring. Charlatan, have you seen a rabbit? Where could he be? Do I have a quest point, first of all? That would help. But I don't think so. Hello? Rabbit? Find him. But where? It before it goes brown. Buy it before it goes brown? Is that your sales pitch? We're buying a cabbage. That doesn't sound enticing. Quickly! Buy your food! At the supermarket before it goes rotten! <laughs> Where is this rapita? Maybe it'd be easier on, on Albi. Quickly, buy your steak before it turns rancid in your mouth. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop, I swear. I'm gonna stop. I see no rabbit. Huh? Have you seen a shady man, someone? Yeah. Anyone? Maybe he's had the in here. Hey. Have you seen a rabbit? Huh? Rapita? No. No. Hello, sir? No. Uh, no. Rapita? No. Rapita? Maybe he's drinking his life savings away. My pleasure. No. No, no. Oh, he's not here. Matt's obedience. Meh, good enough. Where is Rapita? Wait, he said Rapita will be following Florian on his way to work and back. Apart from which, he often sits on the market square and watches Florian's house. Well, he's not on the market square, I can tell you that. Well, Florian works at the engraving shop. Yeah. So maybe... He's just walking around. Sir, are you the stalker? Rapita! You could use a bath, sir. Just saying. 
Would you be Rabbita, perhaps? Be Rabbita, by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Uh, excuse me. Um, all right. I have a few questions, sir. First of all, you're stalking Florian. I know that you spy on Florian. I know you were involved in the kidnapping of the bathmaid, and I know why you're doing it all. Uh, oh. It seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That... that will be the best solution. So? Uh, let's leave it for another time. Uh, sir? Ah, uh, sir? No, where are you going? I'm... I'm not gonna s send Mutt on him. I'm gonna tackle you! Because Mutt might bite the guy. And... Do some bleeding damage. Mutt! I'm gonna tackle you. How much stamina can you have? <laughs> Come on! Tackle! God save you, Henry. Speak! So, are you ready to talk? I will. I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the Tell me everything. Is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. Eesh. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it and the workshop is inside. And who's your lord? Who is your lord? So Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's long gone. So another fallen noble. And what happened to the castle? What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had descendants. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All huh? because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Jobst rounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge <laughs> You know of the your domain. history. Okay, and who are you? Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapota. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. Oh, really? And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezhek? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get Ronoff back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky hey, if you don't end up don't swinging yeah. on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. And who is Yezhek working so for? So who is Yezhek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. So Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the Again, hayland, Again, the so monastery. I heard nothing. And apart from that? In the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman. Huh? I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. Okay, I've heard enough. I think I've heard enough. It's Can not going to go well for something? you, sir. Yes? I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I'd prefer you just kill me here and now. I understand, but Sir Radzik told me to um, put you in prison. No, your dungeon is waiting, sir. An honorable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you, and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. I mean, it's really bad what he did, so... I have to bring him to justice. So he's in jail, and I'm still in Sasau. Yes. Okay. So 
now I have to find the entrance to the mine shaft in the Scalis Hills. And secure Ulrich's help? Ah, I could go with him. I wonder if these two quests are... Ah, uh, no, they're not... They're not exactly at the same place. Okay, but we might be able to do both at the same time. So, I am going to stop here for now. And we're going to continue the investigation in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.